where you are. We are in Parliament. We have come to the conclusion of the prayer session. We are concluding the prayer. And I'm handing back to our comrades to continue the rest of the day's program. Thank you. My political party leaders are Guya, Saka Apple, security make sure I put you on Apple, Ramina Saganaka. Tabish Tanga program, my lead leadership in our political parties, Yakusika, Saka Apple, Noda Oda, Kumeru for security, Munwes and I never say, Parodapo, Parodapo, Munwes and Gawe Pundo, Munuga and Oxeruko. So, political leadership, leader Apo Arikuya, Gatim Boritai Saka Rokeka. The ones who are not going to be able to leadership is not going to leadership is not going to leadership security, security on the other Right, that is the police. Just to let you know if you're joining us, we've been praying for the African Unity Square. And we've been praying for the we are joined by we are joined by the church together with us. We are we are so wherever you are, we've been praying here today, this afternoon. Stand to pray. And of course, we've opened up the Just joining us, we've been praying here for the last one hour, uh, but now we've given the platform over to uh, some of the other movements, citizens' movements, that are here, to also give some solidarity messages concerning our nation going forward. Place. Hey, That's Parliament that you can see there right in front. We're right opposite Parliament. Hey, 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 pray up, pray up. Our prophet Mugabe will begin today another historic day of unity here in Zimbabwe. Another historic day. A leader should be a champion for the Africa. So that you wait, I took from the Uba, I took the Yapu. 
If you're joining us, we've been praying here since the morning. And uh, the pastors and churches, we set up this, this location as a prayer location. And today, the have come to join. And today we're sharing this platform. Yes to peace and no to violence. We're praying together. Listen, Zimbabweans are to make this yes to free speech, but no to hate speech. Naizozo, panya ya hate speech. Ati tari sire. Kana ani zake, aja tuka. Kana kuti aja tipasi na ningi. Kana kuti aja tara zoga ni musangano. Taka unga na pano. Tiri ma citizens ya Zimbabwe. Respect ya tiri kupala tunga miri. The ma political party. Ndeya kuti ma tunga miri vedi. Chete chete. Just to let you know, I'm standing here with Father Rungano. Let me actually show you Father. So, this is Father Rungano Catholic Church. Father Rungano is the one that owns the truck and the equipment that's here. We got together and said, Father Rungano, can we bring the truck here? Can we pray? Can we make it available? Father Rungano, can you tell Zimbabweans and those watching what your program is all about and this equipment that you have here? Yes. Our program is we are a United States Alliance and I'm the CEO of that organization. Our organization is proudly involved right now with the registering of voters, especially in rural areas. We are now with our many pastors and commissioners, of course. We are distributing affidavits and we are also trying by all means to make sure that the citizenry are registered so that they can participate not in a coup setup but in a free and fair election the way they can actually choose god fearing leaders wow. that's what we do so here we are promoting that christians must have a space in political matters wow. and must be positive talking about christ's reign in this country wow. we want to declare zimbabwe for christ wow. and we want christian leaders and leaders who are able to give a different narrative wow. Wow. thank you that's that's father rungano catholic church and uh he Together with uh, myself and a few other pastors, we got together. We're all young pastors, and we said, "Guys, let's claim this space, make it for prayer. Let's gather people." And today, uh, more people than we ever imagined to show up and actually showed up. We've just given the platform over to political parties, as we are right in front of Parliament building. Parliament is about to sit uh, for the beginning of the impeachment process, but it's not just about the impeachment. It's about Zimbabwe, it's about the future, it's about people being citizens who can participate, it's about justice, it's about peace, it's about freedom. And so uh, the big message here is that this is our political, it's about Zimbabwe, it's not about the politics of the nation, it's about the future of our generations. Amen. So thanks for joining us. I'm going to show you a little bit more of the crowd and then uh, I'm going to close the broadcast. But amazing things that are taking place here. Young people are happening. Father Uganda, thanks very much. Thank you so much. Peace, peace, peace. So that's Parliament. We're standing right in front of Parliament for the beginning of the impeachment of Robert Mugabe.
So we're right out here in front of Parliament building where the impeachment process is going to begin. We started off with prayer. The pastors, we got together and we set up a prayer stand. And today that prayer stand has also become a platform where political parties can also come and stand. And we've allowed them to do that and we've said let's work together for the better and peaceful Zimbabwe. The ground rules here today are that there's no violence, there's no insulting, and we stick to the future of the nation and anything else is not welcome. I'm here with my good friend Marshall. Yeah. Marshall is my boy. I go with Marshall almost everywhere. And uh, we've been on the same team doing work together behind the scenes. Uh, with Marshall and a few of the pastors, uh, we sat down together and we set up the stall, uh, the truck that you have here. Uh, we put all that together. Marshall was one of the guys. Marshall, tell me, what is the idea behind the setting up of this prayer truck or the prayer platform? All right. Uh, the, a, a, bit, a number of reasons. Now, point number one is that as Christians, we take our position in society that we start bringing order to where things are going through prayer uh, and, and motivating as well the Christian community in Zimbabwe to get involved in politics. Number two, for the citizens to have a place where they can come and meet where, uh, in a peaceful way and demonstrate and show the reason that we, you know, we really want a change in government, uh, that we support what is going on as well. Uh, the action taken by the military and the, the, the war veterans and that we need this thing to happen in a very peaceful way just in the same way that we did on Saturday. Excellent stuff. So there you heard it. I also have another friend who's here. Her name is Dudu Nyirongo. She's actually a pastor and uh, Dudu's also been part of the planning team. She's a passionate Zimbabwean. Dudu, tell me uh, just in terms of how you feel about what we've been doing here with prayer and uh, with the citizens. I actually feel great about it and I'm actually glad that we're involving God who has been there from the beginning, we have seen us through this journey to, with us and yet now we are finally getting towards the end. I'm um, feeling actually great, I've actually loved the unity here, uh, Christians from all walks of life coming here, joining hands together and making sure that and asking God to intervene in the nation of Zimbabwe. Amen, well there you go. There are so many people that are here. 